proper because this is how I play guitar. No, no, because we are now recording the weekly, and if you sit in this position, oh, so it's recording. Yeah. Welcome. Not welcome. Hi again, guys. He's back. He's back, back again. <laughs> Traditional style. Yeah. So I mean, nice to have you back. Where have you been? Nice to be back. I've been hiding downstairs. <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> so I, uh, I see you every day. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny when you ask me where have I been. <laughs> yeah, because actually I'm asking from the audience because uh, they haven't seen you for a long time and uh, they are missing you, right? Write down in the comments if you miss Jonathan. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> I mean, it's good to have you here because you're a guitar expert and today you have brought a well, stunning guitar. Thank what you. is it? It's glad to be back here, first of all. This is an amazing 1966 David Rubio or Jose Rubio. Jose Rubio. And this particular one is from 66. As a matter of fact, this is the same guitar from this book. The classical guitar, a complete history based on the Russell Cleveland collection. So basic, basically, this is 1966 Jose Rubio x Russell Cleveland. Mm -hmm. This is the same exact guitar. Wow. I'm not joking, guys. This is the real guitar. Moreover, the more interesting fact is this is the Jose Rubio 66 from the same year of Julian Brim's David Rubio. David Rubio. And Jose Rubio. Jose Rubio. Jose Rubio. And basically, uh, Julian Brim recorded a couple of CDs on his 66 Rubio. This is the CDs. I think Julian Brim. 20th century guitar music by Britain, Henze, Frank Martin, Villa Lobos, John Sebastian Bach, Julian Brim, under Amy Classics. So basically, he recorded quite a few CDs on his 66 mm -hmm. Rubio. And this Rubio is from the same year. And I have also listened to one of these um, recordings? Uh, recordings, and the sound is very similar. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, of course. I compared the sound and I don't have the Julian Bream sound, yeah. but the sound um, character of the guitar was nearly the same. And you are the amazing. Julian's Bream. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Julian, Julian's dream. <laughs> Julian's dream. I'm Julian's dream. <laughs> yeah. If I'm talking about historical instrument, of course, we have to consider Jose Rubio as an historic instrument. Uh, let's say or yeah the historical instrument or maybe modern historical yeah legendary instrument yeah. mm -hmm. this is some of the best yeah for me like i, mm -hmm. I love this guitar so much uh the guitar is very responsive mm -hmm. contrary to popular belief i think <laughs> no i mean uh the guitar is very responsive uh i i just like the way the guitar sounds it has very strong voice or character you know what, Julian? Maybe it's time for you to unleash the beast. Why I'm why I'm doing this? Because it no, it's not from Spain the guitar. It's uh, not from um, Italy. Italy. I mean, Julian, time for you to unleash the beast. <laughs> Ta -da 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 -da. Can still do <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's okay. start. For real. <laughs> doesn't stop wow still ringing where should I we still, begin i still can hear it where should we begin of course you have to tell your impression 
I mean, first of all, I was impressed by the sustain. Mm. And then I thought, no, I'm more impressed by the just the color, color oh, of the yeah. guitar. And then I was thinking, no, it's the balance. And the fluffy, creamy color. Yeah. The middle voice, the trebles is brilliant. Mm -hmm. It's like a mix of everything. Right? It's a mix of everything. And yeah. this is also very typical for the great historical guitars. Totally. You have everything what you need. Character. Yeah, character. Character. Yeah. Why do I have to point my finger? Character. Yeah. Character. You're too aggressive. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Very even, yeah. I mean, no difference if you go from the first strings up to the fourth, it's like... Well balanced. Wow. I will play only one piece on it, and then I want to hear you on the guitar. <laughs> the real master. <laughs> I haven't played guitar in a while. <laughs> the Friedrich, I can taste the Romanios. It's just like mix of great things. Romanios in terms of that intimate, beautiful brilliance, br brilliance in the in the higher notes, yeah. especially, and Second of course, uh, and and of course Friedrich in terms of tone separation and sustain. The Felfetti. Yeah, yeah. Oof, okay. I want to hear it from the other side. All right. One more, one more. I cannot, wow. I cannot stop. One you more. Be, you better stop. <laughs> okay, new try. I didn't expect that's that. because of me maybe it's you I will <laughs> give you the credit <laughs> thank you sir I'm sure this is some of the guitar that is lifetime yeah. opportunity the guitar has been very well preserved look Absolutely. at this man like yeah. clean and to be honest I think this is a type of guitar historical guitar that could be played in concert halls even now totally 
The yeah. power is nice. Yeah. I can imagine that the tone projection is... I, I assume the same. Of course, guys, as you know, we have to be in the concert hall to judge the project projection. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you can already tell if the guitar projects or no by just playing it. Of course, it's not 100% precise assessment. Mm. But, I mean, but because yeah. because if the tone separation is good, it means that in a exactly. the concert hall you can exactly. imagine that the sound is going forward and not loud and staying always here. Mm -hmm. It's going being clear forward. is also part of the projection mm. because you can hear the guitar better if the guitar has clear separation. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right, I think this for sure. Looking for a uh, home. <laughs> <laughs> Should I take the guitar myself? Actually, you told me four, four, four times. Should I buy this guitar by myself? <laughs> and. Um, yeah, guys, working at Sikas, we have to learn how to separate the private life. That also, but, but like from control your emotions. Em yeah, your, 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 how you call it? Like your, your, your need. Desire yeah. on owning because, a lot of great guitars. Because you could, I mean, to be honest, I think every week, Always some Either me <laughs> or you is saying, ah, should I buy this guitar? <laughs> and at the end we say, okay, stop. Easy, I have a easy. guitar at home, you have a guitar at home, and we don't play much at home because we are all the day at Zika's and exactly. playing here guitars. Yeah. But this guitar really deserves a forever home, forever, forever home, loving home. Or deserves also big stages to play look at the big place in concerts yeah. so beautiful is it uh, this is brazilian rosewood? yes this is brazilian yeah. rosewood. wow this is in a very good condition of On course 66 66 yeah wow. yeah there are some separation here but i mm -hmm. don't see a major thing yeah of course daniel has our guitar maker daniel has checked everything amazing condition yeah also very comfortable to play yeah without Don't any play. issues or no slipping strings or buzzes no it's, no 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 it's, no, no, it's, no, no. Um, it's an amazing guitar yeah. okay right. Jonathan thanks for being here you're welcome it was a pleasure and let us know in the comments uh, if Jonathan should be back next week oh again. Christ <laughs> or maybe he should do the next weekly guitar meeting then I have free time to do something else I that's that's the plan i hope i can manage the time to mm. be more active in the in front of the camera yeah. <laughs> or behind the camera mm. and then because lately joyan has been dealing with a lot of social media contents mm. i'm sorry i wish i can help you more but i myself need help <laughs> yeah i agree i know i know okay, all right guys then let's move to the next guitar Oh, this is the first one. This was the first one. Okay, yeah. then next guitar. Bye bye. And the next guitar is made by one of my favorite guitar luthiers, Lisa Weinziel from Germany. She is building absolutely stunning guitars. And this guitar is a new guitar, brand new from 2023. And it has the number 65 and it comes with a spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides. It looks simple, but it's not simple. It's so elegant and it has such a fine finishing and uh, every detail is spot on. And um, yeah, I mean, I can't ask for more regarding the craftsmanship of the guitar but also the sound of this guitar always blows me away and uh, yeah let's see how the guitar sounds <laughs> It's 
just pure beauty. I mean, it's a traditionally built guitar and it sounds traditional, but you have some modern elements. For example, the loudness and the forward going sound and that feeling of feeling the resonance through your body. And this is what um, the most classical guitarists uh, ask for. If, they, if you are playing a guitar, you just want to feel that connection to the guitar and I always feel a connection to this guitar and it has also a very sweet sound sustain Also the tone separation of this guitar is on a very high level. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Daniel Friedrich guitars. You can hear every interval, every tone and it's not just a sound cloud. I think I don't need to play more on this guitar or say more about the sound of this guitar. You can hear it by yourself how beautiful this guitar sounds. And uh, yeah, congrats to Lisa Weinziel again and let's move to the next guitar. The next guitar is again a beautiful surprise or highlight in the recent weeks and this is made by um, David Rubio and this guitar is from 1973 and it's it's a David Rubio 1973 Paul Fischer so it means he has been building these guitars uh, with Paul Fischer and uh, as you know David Rubio wasn't a Spanish guy he was actually from UK but um, the Spanish people gave him that name, uh, the Rubio. And this guitar has a spruce top and very beautiful Brazilian rosewood back and sides. Of course, it's a traditionally built guitar and uh, let's see how the guitar sounds. so well balanced and so beautiful and very clear in the chords again so it has a very good tone separation let's see how the guitar let's see if the guitar sings yeah
also notice that it has a slightly elevated fingerboard and I mean the guitar is from 1973 and it was actually unusual so I'm not sure but I think it it was probably one of the first guitars with a with an elevated fingerboard I love the sound. It has a very special character. It's like hearing the voice of somebody and you recognize the, that voice straight away. And um, this is also the case with this guitar, at least to my ears. Here, yeah, David Rubio, Jose Rubio guitar from 1973 with Paul Fischer. And um, yeah. Let me know what you think about the sound of this guitar and let's move to the next one. And this guitar is made by the Australian guitar luthier Jim Redgate who doesn't need any kind of presentation. I'm always impressed by his guitars and they, yeah, sorry, his guitars are being played by um, some of the biggest names in the classical guitar world. And this beautiful Jim Redgate guitar is from 2019 it comes with a cedar top and Ciricot back and sides it's a double top model because he's also building lettuce braced guitars and I personally love his double top guitars they sound very natural and um, they are loud they are um, they have a smooth sound but at the same time you have a very good clarity in the sound. I will stop to talk, I will play and you will hear it. So, where do I begin? Um, it has everything what you need. It's loud, it's responding very well, very fast. It's very well balanced. I will play more on this guitar and you will let me know in the comments what you think.
clear tone. It's very direct and the tone separation of this guitar is something else. I mean, for a double top guitar, it's really impressive. And the guitar is also resonating very well. So I can definitely say this is uh, probably one of the best uh, Jim Redgate or in general double top guitars that I have ever played. We have at the moment some really amazing double top guitars. We had last week the guitar of Said Abu Talibian. We had the Dennis Tolls, Andreas Kirchner, and uh, I have the feeling that the double top guitars are also changing and they are getting more near to some qualities of a traditionally built guitars. And uh, yeah, it's very interesting. And let's move to the next guitars. And now I'm going to introduce to you three uh, guitars by the company Hermanus Camps, a company that is building really good guitar at a very good price range. So if you compare the price to the uh, sound of these guitars, they are truly amazing. And this guitar is brand new and this model is so actually it's not a model um, it's a unique guitar it has a name it's la liberalis and um, you won't find a second la liberalis guitar but this guitar is based on uh, another famous guitar which is built by hermanus camps and uh, if you need more detailed information you can go on our website and you feel you will find much more information about this and this guitar has a spruce top and indian rosewood back and sides let's see how it sounds I didn't expect this kind of overtones, so many overtones and also very good sustain. A very well balanced sustain. So you hear every tone very even for a long time. And the guitar responds also very well. Honestly, I'm surprised. I didn't expect this kind of sound from this guitar if you consider the price tag of this guitar. It's very well balanced and very comfortable to play. Wow.
let me know what do you think about the sound of this Hermanus Camps guitar and we have still two another Hermanus Camps guitars let's see how the how the D is the German word for day um, anyway let's see how they sound and the next guitar made by the company Hermanus Camps is this one and this model is called La Sapienti it comes with a cedar top and also Indian rosewood back and sides very simple looking guitar but it's built very well very fine finishing and um, yeah as I said um, already if you consider the price tag of this guitar or in general general the Hermanus Camps guitars they are really really good guitars and uh, yeah let's see how this guitar sounds <laughs> Well, first I wanted to play all the pieces and then uh, say my opinion about the sound of this guitar. I think also this Hermanus Camps guitar is, as the previous Hermanus Camps guitar in this video, um, a very good guitar. It's not for the biggest stages. It's not for uh, uh, David Russell to play concerts on, but... This is a really good guitar, also for a lot of music students, for the beginning of their uh, musical career, because you have certain qualities in this guitar that you need um, if you are a professional classical guitarist. And this guitar offers you a lot. It has a relatively big sound, I have to say. Um, it has a good response and it has also a lot of different colors which makes the guitar more enjoyable to play and let's move to the last guitar of this week and the last guitar of this week also made by the company Hermanus Camps is this one La Gravis and this guitar comes with a cedar top and a very stunning beautiful wood exotic ebony it's a traditionally built guitar and uh, let's see how it sounds.
very warm sound very well balanced and even sustained sustain beautiful And this was the last guitar of this week. I hope you enjoyed this week's weekly guitar meeting at Zika's Guitars. Let me know which guitar did you like the most and if the video was helpful for you to have a better idea of the sound of these guitars, please don't forget to leave a like and as usual, subscribe to our channel if you didn't do that already. Thanks for tuning in and see you next week.